This is your main man, K. Karen, to the Lane with Superior Sports Network, All Access Grinner. I'm here with the Stillman Elite 5. Okay, all right. All right, Philip, why don't you introduce yourself and let the um, audience know what you guys are all about. First off, my name is Darius Rohn. Uh, Kevin Johnson. But Jay Sears. One and only Rocky Anderson. For three, Lee Riley. Okay, all right then, fellas. You guys play UAH tomorrow. I know you guys are really, this is like, I think the first time you guys have been in the championship. Um, Elite Eight, and I know you guys are definitely going to shut the city down. So, what should we expect tomorrow when our viewership come out there and see? Can we get a three? Can we get a hundred points? What's up? Talk to me. Fireworks. Fireworks. <laughs> you can expect a lot. You can expect a lot of entertainment. You okay. gonna, squad. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna yeah, you see some man. dunks. You're gonna see some alley oops. You're gonna see some threes. You might pe- see some people falling on the ground. There's gonna be a lot going on. Three. Okay. A lot of honey threes. Honey threes. A lot of entertainment. Okay. A lot of entertainment, baby. Okay. All right. A lot of entertainment like that too as well. Great. Great. Still in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, right? All right. Yeah. Okay. You guys come. On. Welcome to Hunts Vegas. As you know how we call it. Here. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Las Vegas like that. Um, quick question for you guys. You guys take about one by one. What actually inspired you to be who you are today? Um, really, my grandmother. She's she's my heart and soul. Um, she's really her testimony. You know, really, she's been through a lot, and I can really relate to her. And you know, she really pushes me to strive to be the best who I am. My mom's. You know, she. Been through a lot of all these years taking care of me. So I'm trying to get an opportunity to take care of her she, you know, for everything go out. Well, it's my mother and my father, you know. They've been through a lot together or whatever. And they just, you know, tell me uh, to do things the right way and do it in a positive way. So I want to, like, put on for them or whatever. So, yeah. For me, it's my mother, you know, coming from... Uh, low income housing or whatever my mom she did it all on her own she showed me how strong she was or whatever and I, I, I'm striving to become a better person because of her I want to do these things get take advantage of these opportunities so I could go on to be become a great man so I could get my mom into a better place and not only my mom my mentor my high school basketball coach Shaheed Perkins he helped me he came and got me out of the neighborhood. He came and worked with me as a, at a as an adolescent, and then he helped me become the man I am now. Mine basically the same story as Rocky. Like it's my mother. Um, she was basically raising me up by herself, and I basically just want to do it because the neighborhood where I'm from, a lot of people don't make it out. You know what I'm saying? So I want to be the one to come up and do something different, actually make it, and then be able to get back to that neighborhood. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Let me ask you a question right here. What if I did a movie about you guys? What would the title of that movie be? Anybody? The Swag Five. <laughs> <laughs> the, swag, the Swag Five. The Swag Five. Swag, and, who, yeah. and who would you have to play the characters in the Swag Five? Anybody that you could think of? Well, you gotta have Will Smith. <laughs> Will Smith don't play me. Okay, 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 okay. KJ, well, what about you? I'm trying to see. Denzel? Denzel Washington. Tyler. Okay. Um, uh, Morris, Morris Chess, Morris Chess, my boy, uh, Le Jason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Might as well get Sammy and Jason for me, man. Trying to get Sam for me. And me being man. the funny guy on the team, I think you give me Kevin Hart. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. You okay. get my boy Lee Riley, get him Jamie Foxx. Okay, yeah. Jamie. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> now, who will play the coach? Who will play the coaches? Uh, oh, ah, the coaches. Mm. Yeah. Something to think, huh? Shoot. Mm. You got to get somebody laid back. Yeah. Yeah. Just really don't care what goal. Just want to win. Who we get? I don't know. That would be a tough one. That would be a tough one right there to think about. Oh, okay. All right, man. Tell me um, a little bit more about your mentors, who's actually really mentor you to really, you know, say, you know what, just because you come from a small school, no excuses. You must get it done. My mentor, um, um, it would have to be one of my AAU coaches. Mm -hmm. Name is um, Coach Cheeto. Okay. Um, he really, you know, he pushed me. I went through a lot with him. Uh, okay. Even whippings getting paddled for doing the smallest thing. Oh, you got spanking? Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, it's, it's 
probably him. Okay, okay, KJ. Me, I got two um uh, coach Scott Sutter's. Mm-hmm. He coaches uh Hill Chris right now. Okay. And uh the the other one, uh Coach Eric Pierre. Okay. Them two man, they uh High school was trying to push me on through. Mm-hmm. Get me right, do everything at the school. Like, I had to practice. I'm in the gym with them still. Mm-hmm. You know, getting everything right. So, okay. Okay. Too. okay. Mine would have to be my assistant coach from high school. His name is Jake Miles. Mm-hmm. I mean, at first, you know, we started basketball. I didn't like him at all. But, I mean. Why you like him? Because he, he used to try to push me too hard, and I was like lazy back then, you know. And he say he's like stuff out of the way, and I, I didn't like it or whatever. So it had to be him because, like, every time I needed him back in high school, he was there no matter what. Like, if I wanted to shoot out the gym, after uh, practice or whatever, he would stay after, you know, even though he had a family mm-hmm. to go home to or whatever, he still stayed there with me and just, you know, looked over me in a good way. So it would be him. Okay. Mine, one of them I already mentioned, Shahid Pokens, mm-hmm. my high school basketball coach. He he basically molded my game into what it is today. And then my other one would be um, Brian Wright. He was a friend of the family. He wanted to actually introduce basketball to me from little, taking me out of here. I was the first time I traveled out of state to play basketball was with him or whatever. And he just introduced me into the basketball lifestyle, and I'll never forget him for that. Mine would have to be uh, my high school coach, Robert Bettis. Like, he was one. Of the, he was the hardest coach that I ever had to play for. Like probably like my first day in practice, he made me want to quit because like he was just on me the whole practice. Like no matter what nobody else did, he was calling my name. And my second one would probably be um, probably have to be Coach Fry. He was like he's like a trainer who worked me out during the summer, and he don't take no excuses from me. He just push me to the limit all the time. Okay. Good question, guys. Um, coach Grant. Is he a real tough coach, you know, or he's just like, eh, you know, let's go with the flow. I mean, he, let's keep it real now. It's all about business. Yeah, he, okay, he, all about business. He, he, he pretty laid back. He just wants you to get a job now and get out there and work hard or whatever. Mm-hmm. Not too much to ask for, you know. So he don't do a lot of hollering or slap you side of the head or anything Coach else Grant, like that? he pretty much, he a man, he want results. Like, yeah. if we doing our thing, he going to let us play. Like, his system is very easy to play for. Mm-hmm. You, you're not scoring play defense, he going to let you play. Now, if, you, if you're if not doing the things he expects for in practice, he's going to demand out of he going to, he may run us, he may... Not you're not gonna have so many fun practices, but that's yeah. only because he demand he he demands he wants greatness and that's yeah. what he pushes for. Okay, um, the NBA scouts are here just to let you guys know that. Okay, and they come here regularly, and we actually bring them here. Um, my question is, what type of product as yourself can you definitely show them what you can do beginning tomorrow? Well, me first. Me being a point guard or whatever, I just showed them my leadership skills. You know, I could be vocal on and off the court. I could be a leader by example. You know, I could do the little things that they need me to do. I play defense, get a defender behind. If they need me to score, I can shoot the three. It's pretty much, I'm pretty much versatile at that point guard spot. So whatever they need me to do, I'm going to do it. Me being an off guard, I mean... Whatever they lacking on, that's where I pick up at. And I try to bring a lot of energy on the defensive end. So I would like them to see that. I mean, I'll take the toughest player and guard them. It don't matter. And try to keep them to a certain amount of points or get them aggravated out there. Okay. With me being a, a guard slash forward, you know, I'm just, I just get out there and do what it takes. If it take rebound, I'm a rebound. If it take scoring, I'm a score. If it take getting a, like assist, I get to assist. It don't getting matter. the dunk. Yeah, or getting the dunk, you know, it don't matter to me, you know. I just feed off my, my uh, two guards, my other post players, so it's whatever they do. KJ? I mean, man, I'm, just, I'm, I'm trying to be the best defender I can be for this team right here. You know, I know they. I'm like the last line of defense for these boys right here. So don't I gotta, be modest. Tell them you do all the dirty work. <laughs> yeah, I got to do everything. Everything they don't do, I got to do. Know what it is. Know what it is. Okay. And me being an undersized big man, I take on any six nine and up. <laughs> yeah, but that's me. I'm gonna so tell you now, my man, not strong down there. That's me. So I'm gonna get in. I'm gonna eight. do the work in. <laughs> 107 pounds, solid. <laughs> As you probably know, um, a lot of HBCU schools do not get a lot of media coverage. Right. So, um, coming from 
a HBCU school because I went to Norfolk State oh, okay. in Virginia. Mm-hmm. So Virginia. you know, yeah. So My you know how we go there. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Great school. Yeah. D one. Yeah. Yeah. And the Delaware right. right. State. Okay. What do you guys want to tell the other media that really don't? Try to give you guys that coverage or try to give you that extra plug in, like the other big schools are like that, too. So, I just want to tell them they're missing out. Yeah, they're we missing got a lot of show. They're missing out like, on a lot of flavor down here. <laughs> them we tough. Like Put it like that. We <laughs> tough in the side, man. Tough. tough. Yeah. Okay, okay, all right. Any last words um, that you want to go ahead and tell young men that are actually looking up to you guys as role models? Because at the game, there was a little boy that was actually imitating you guys, trying to play and dribble like that as well. What type of words of wisdom would you give that little young man that was trying to follow in your footsteps? Never give up. Never yeah, give up? Yeah, yeah never give up. Just, right way. Okay. Never get yeah. on the wrong side. Um, really just keep on chasing your dreams. You know, don't never... Stop doing what you're doing for anybody, you know. Hard oh, work to pay off. Me personally, I think like basketball, you can use this as an outlet to do anything you want in life. But first, in order to play college basketball, it gotta be school first. You gotta make sure you're on top of your books. You know what I'm saying? And if you ain't on top of your books, you ain't gonna be able to make it on the court to do whatever you want to do. So, I personally think for the young folks out there, make sure you're on top of your job in the class. And then, if you're on top of your job in the class, you're gonna get on the court, and then everything else gonna work out. I'd probably tell them, don't let nobody ever tell you you can't. Exactly. And there's going to be a lot of people out there telling what you can and can't do. Don't listen to them. You can do whatever you want to do. And like Rocky said, get them grades first, and then you can handle your business on the court.